competition and Co uh, cooperation, all for the control of a foothold in Trincomalee, mm -hmm. and uh, where the Chinese are concerned, also a uh, foothold in Hambantota or the south, so that their oil shipments to, from the, the east, Middle East, mm -hmm. to China, which passes just below Sri Lanka, cannot be sabotaged. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Americans want to make sure that it can be sabotaged if necessary, True. at whatever time. Mm -hmm. And they can't do that from Diego Garcia. It's too far away. So they want a foothold. So they want a foothold in India, uh, in uh, Trincomalee, mm -hmm. and possibly on the other side in Putlam. That's all this voice of America stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, India doesn't want either. This is all part of Indian area of influence. Right, India's so, regional power is Yeah, be regional power. So this battle is going on and preventing a solution to the ethnic conflict because it is not in the international interest or the in, uh, interest of these parties to have a solution. Because once there is a solution, they can't manipulate the single government in Colombo. Mm -hmm. uh, the second problem is that if there is a division, for example, Trincomalee will fall into Tamil hands. Uh, that will be a disaster for these people because they are not going to have as easy a time as with a corrupt, despotic, uh, malleable government in Colombo. Mm -hmm. If Trincomalee falls into Tamil hands, they'll have some tough dealing because they're not going to be manipulated as easily mm -hmm. or bribable mm -hmm. as uh, the single government is. So, so the international community is not in favor of uh, Trincomalee falling in the hands of the LCTE or the Tamils? Certainly not. Mm -hmm. Certainly not. In fact, uh, that is one of the uh, reasons why the international community is providing enough weapons for uh, the single government to crush the Tamil people. Sri Lanka doesn't have a weapons industry. Mm -hmm. And if you see some of the weapons that I have put on my DVDs, I mean, there are major battle tanks, multi-battle rocket launchers, helicopter gunships. The manufacturers must know that this country without external enemies are going to use those weapons on his own paper. If they are not stupid. Uh, but it, you, you want, we will supply. Mm -hmm. And what India says they will supply, Pakistan says we'll supply twice as much. And what Pakistan supplies, India will say, why do you want to go to Pakistan or to I'll China? Why don't, why don't you just tell us what mm -hmm. you want? Mm -hmm. Then China says, if neither of these parties uh, supply you with the weapons you need, just tell us. In mm -hmm. fact, most of the large battle tanks which you see on the DVDs are Chinese supplied. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we, we simply cannot exert any pressure on China. I mean, uh, that those are the realities. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think this conflict has been dragged out. Do you think India has a particular interest in dragging this uh, conflict longer? The Indian attitude and actions uh, absolutely baffles me. You know, if there is a conflict on India's doorstep, the refugees are going to flood to uh, Tamil Nadu. And already I think there are about a uh, quarter of a million mm -hmm. uh, refugees there. And even with this last bout of attack uh, on Trincomalee and Batikalo, they just jumped into boats and either came to Australia and sank off the Australian coast or landed there and went, got locked up as criminals. Or uh, most of them went to South India. Mm -hmm. um, there is a battle between Tamil Nadu and uh, Delhi. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, this problem is being use sort of, uh, it's a meat in the sandwich. Their, their own internal political problems, we are, we are getting involved, or the Tamil issue is getting involved. Uh, or is being the, used. Is being used, exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, nobody seems to be concerned that uh, uh, the conflict is getting to the point where the survival of the Tamil people is at stake mm -hmm. uh, or in question. Uh, so, uh, in my uh, DVDs, I've said that Sri Lanka had the second highest incidence of disappearances. It's not true. I've got to re-record those DVDs because as of last month, I think, uh, Sri Lanka has the highest rate of disappearances anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, Human Rights Watch came out with that data, I think, uh, at, at one of their recent presentations. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the Human Rights Council had... Uh, uh, had a say in this fairly recently. Um, and obviously the, the international community's strategy seems to be different from what you're saying, but how does it, um, how does it take a position where they want to negotiate peace between the two parties? 
Let's talk about Canada, where it keeps saying, you know, we want a negotiated settlement and we want to talk to both parties, but they don't seem to be doing anything substantial. This is total, complete hypocrisy. I mean, let's take this question of negotiation. Negotiate between who and who? The government and the Tamil Tigers. Mm -hmm. Then you go and ban one side. So what's the Sri Lankan government going to do? To negotiate with the empty chair. Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole thing's complete nonsense. As the British found out with the IRA, the IRA were banned, and Britain found that they couldn't negotiate with a banned organization, so they had to deban them. Mm -hmm. And what happened after debanning? They started talking. And the result of that was that Britain decided to give uh, the IRA, or uh, um, uh, yes, mm -hmm. some 24 of the 32 provinces, and now there's peace, at least for the time being. You know, if you're talking in terms of banning people, it's like my saying that I'm going to stop suicide by banning suicide. You can't. I got to address the underlying problem of depression or whatever it is. But you cannot get negotiations off the ground. I told this to the EU parliamentarians before they banned the LTT, that by banning the LTT, you are opting out of the negotiating process. Mm -hmm. And I just had a uh, talk with uh, another Canadian where I said, you know, it is crazy. Uh, these countries, every time you ban the LTT, what you do is to enable the singular racists in Colombo to raise a flag and say, ha ha, thank God they are banned. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you are encouraging extreme singular chauvinism by taking these very silly uh, steps. Uh, tomorrow, I, uh, as you said, uh, you know, I'll be dealing with a lot of things. But what we are facing in Sri Lanka is a war. Whether the government admits it or not, it is a war. There are the materials and methods of war being used. If war is what is going on in Sri Lanka, and of, the, of that there is not the slightest doubt, humanitarian law applies. And under humanitarian law, you can't ban one side uh, in the war. I mm -hmm. mean, it, it is illegal on humanitarian law. Mm -hmm. Now, the single government says the terrorism. I mean, there is a definition of terrorism, which I will read out tomorrow. Um, it, with the LTT, it does not fit in. It's an armed group. And mm -hmm. it's not because Branson rather says so. It is the UN definition uh, mm -hmm. of what an armed group is versus terrorism. Mm -hmm. Briefly, it is that if you wear a uniform, if you have a, a command, a, a chain of command, and an area you defend, an area of territory you defend, then you are an armed group and not terrorist group. Now the Al-Qaeda don't wear a uniform. I mean, you can't pick up Al-Qaeda and say, oh, that's an Al-Qaeda uniform. They don't have an area to defend. So there's a huge difference between mm -hmm. genuine terrorists and uh, what the LTT are doing. Mm -hmm. Whether they have committed acts of terrorism or not is a separate story. But they are an armed group fighting a liberation struggle of the Tamil people in the pursuit of the right of self-determination, which mm -hmm. is a universal right.